Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift, your home for all things that go bump in the dark and your fan stories told here. Today's story comes from a longtime fan and listener of the show, Steve. When I get certain people who tell me paranormal stories, I always want to listen. Steve, as far as I know and as far as I've always known, has been a very straight shooter. So I was very surprised that he had a paranormal story that he wanted to send in. I've been a truck driver most of my life, mostly overnight rural routes, nothing coast to coast, never wanted to go that far. But during COVID, we were short staffed and work was kind of hard to come by. So I started picking up a couple of different shifts, ones that took me places I hadn't been before, but still nothing too terribly far away from home, just an overnight trip and back. I had picked up this route for this little warehouse out in the middle of nowhere, probably five miles off the main road. Just a quick pull in hub, load your trailer and go kind of thing. I got there at 10.30 at night and there was an older gentleman and a young guy loading their trailer. It was an old truck, I thought. You know, owner operators sometimes have to hold on for equipment for a long time, but this was like a 1970s, that, that clamshell hood. I remembered it just going, who still drives that? And man, he must have taken so much care of this truck for it to be able to last this long. But that was neither here or there. They loaded their stuff and you know, then it was my turn. I got on the lift, loaded my stuff, watched them take off and I took off. I didn't think anything about it. A Couple days later, I picked up another route that I wasn't really familiar with. 10, 15 miles off the normal road. Same little scenario. Little warehouse, little hub, had some stuff for us to pick up at night. I got there and to my surprise, hey, there's that truck again. The old man and what I assume is his son. They were loading everything up. Now, this hub was a lot different than the last one. See, this is one of those ones where they just tag it for you during day shift and there's nobody there at night. Just a little warehouse. You load your stuff and you go. The old man waved at me and said, hey, good to see you. Yeah, we're finishing up. We'll, we'll be on our way in just a couple minutes. They loaded up and it was my turn to load. I was looking for the forklift. I mean, his son had driven into the building. He had seen me, knew that I needed it, but he driven into the building and I never saw his son come off. I thought to myself, where, where'd he go? But their old 70s model clamshell hood truck just took off. I loaded my stuff and just thought, where'd the guy go? And why didn't they say anything? They were so talkative just a couple minutes ago. I'm here alone in the dark, loading my stuff with nothing but my headlights and I get an eerie feeling. I get my stuff loaded, get back in the truck, and I go. I tell you all these minor details because certain things stick out to you. This truck, I mean, the thing purred like a champ. They were using it to haul pretty heavy loads and they would have had to take care of it. There was something about this truck. Fast forward till after COVID. I went back on my regular round, still working night shift, but back to what I had normally been doing. I got a call that I needed to go pick up something from one of these warehouses that I went to during COVID. It was gonna pay me an extra hundred dollars that night, so I said, absolutely, let's do it. I pull up and sure enough, there's the same truck with the old man and the son loading everything up. <clears throat> same warehouse as the second time I saw them. Hey, we'll finish up in just a second. And the same thing happened. They loaded up, where's the fort trick? Where, where'd the sun go? It just vanished. I go in there again, just like the second time. Go in there and it's the four trucks there. Keys sitting in it and the truck just takes off. It's so weird. It was like having the exact same conversation with this guy that I just had with him. It felt like a deja vu moment. I load up and I get to drive it on my route. This time I'm headed in a different direction. Actually, the same direction that the weird truck went down. But that route takes you over this one lane bridge. Truckers don't like going over these things because they never feel super sturdy. And when you're carrying a heavy load, it definitely doesn't feel good. But it was the quickest way to get where I needed to go. I get over the bridge and I see it. There in the little lake is, is the truck. It's the truck, man. Th these guys, they've run off the road. Something's wrong. Pull over. I get out of my truck. I run down to the little lake. I call dispatch for help and, and, and there's no truck. There's nothing there. I know what I saw, but there's no truck. There's nothing there. It, it 
gave me the creeps. I, I didn't know what to do. I just saw this truck. I called dispatch. I waited for people, but there, there was no truck. They all just kind of thought I was crazy that night. I had to start doing my own research. Something, something was weird. I pulled up a news article and it still scares me to death today when I think about it. I saw the picture. It was a picture of a crash. A father and son trucking team had went off the road in the early 70s. The exact same people I had been seeing. And I knew because the picture in the paper had the father and the son in that truck. I don't know if it was a time loop. I don't know if it was a warning. I don't know if they were just making their final delivery, but I know that I've not seen them again. After that night, it's like I had to go through their route, like they're constantly going through the same thing that took them away in the first place. Either way, thank you for sharing my story.